Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you oh, lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemies has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, uh, so shall it be. <coughs> Judgment is final. So let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading. We have a karmic group. This could be a karmic couple, whatever this is, that's receiving some type of... Um, message that things are not going to be going well for them something has come to an end there could be a group that's going through some type of karma a lot of conflict behind the scenes and they were hoping that they would be receiving some type of opportunity that will be leading to a new beginning something something about a ten of pentacles energy that's not taking place these people are way down and burdened because they've put a lot of energy and a lot of effort into something and it's not going according to plan they're not receiving some type of offer and again and again they're fighting there's a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes a lot of arguing a lot of cursing fighting there may be like a physical fight that breaks out two people may have had some choice words in an office or something like that two people may have had some choice words in a community possibly two masculines or something like that but there is something where people have been causing a lot of illusions possibly doing a lot of dark magic a lot of rituals maybe even astro projecting into your energy to keep to keep taking from you, stealing from you, committing some type of spiritual crime, something of that nature. Also, there's something about invasion of privacy with the Seven of Cups out here. There's something where people have been monitoring your whole life, like your computer or your phones, everything. People in your neighborhoods are watching you. This is something a lot of like a lot of light workers have been going through, especially members of the 144,000 Club. There are people all over watching you especially the ones that are awakening and say, ah, this person knows what they're capable of. We got to keep our eyes on them. So there is something where a group of people, like a karmic group of people, they may have communicated communicated something about going, about some type of karma playing out. They may have been plotting against someone, plotting to end you and your stability and your new beginnings, not wanting you to have any type of offers, Fresh star, love, anything of that nature. Um, but it seems like the community is the one going through the heartbreak. I'm telling you, this card literally just jumped out of my deck. Um, they're the ones going through heartbreak. Instead of you going through difficulties and things that they're feeling weighed down, because this is the energy that they want you in, you feeling burdened and weighed down. But what really it is, is that you're disciplined, you're empress energy, and you're busy manifesting yourself a king of pentacles, apparently. Uh, because you are a queen of pentacles at the core as well. And you are very intuitively gifted, very innovative, very uh, multifaceted, a thinker. Uh, you and this person will be coming together to have a new thing going on, whatever this is. Congratulations. And when you two come together, this is going to be like a secret thing. No one's going to know when you two meet uh, what you're planning, if you're planning to get married, it's going to be a whole secret. You're about to be out here on that Usher and Alicia Keys. I will keep your secrets safe with me. Is that, I'll think about your secrets, but I'll never let them out. Okay. And anybody asks me any questions about what you told me, I'll be walking away. Okay. And that's how we're going to balance this out because we don't trust nobody but our ancestors in the universe. Right? Mm-hmm. Anyways, there's a toxic group back to these people since they want to take over the reading and start out here. These people are trapped in something. They are being looked into as well. They may not know it. There's some type of court case that's going to be taking place or there could be a court case going on right now. And maybe they're trying to hide this from coming out. Someone is embarrassed at how far they've gone when it comes to invading someone's privacy to block someone from receiving love offers new opportunities and things like that because someone or a group has become very obsessed with you they do not want you moving on with your life but you shall you shall uh, i'm telling you your ancestors are all over this they're protecting you and it has these people kind of stuck in their mind they said why is this person disprotected 
Why is this person this calm? We've done all of this to them. We don't temper with their work, their character. We've lied on them, stole from them, you know, took money from them. They don't have a lot of money coming in, blah, 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 blah. How come they're still calm? So instead of you being, you know, stuck in your mind, your enemies are stuck in their mind while they're watching you. And while you possibly even know that there are what they are fighting behind the scenes about what belongs to you. Okay. There could be someone out here that wants to be seen as you and say, no, 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 no. I'm the one that manifests. I'm the one with the plans. I'm the one you should be giving to. It's a lie. This is someone that self-sabotages. There's a family that's going through some type of prophecy that was predicted and maybe quite a few of them. It's a whole group of people, friend group. Okay. They are going through some type of karma behind the scenes that cannot be stopped it was never going to go the way they planned i don't know if they were listening to someone listen okay it ain't looking good for your enemies out here dang but a bum bum bing dang but a bing pop boom boom dang shy shy this is a group of gas lighters no friendship nothing just Toxic people just working together, maybe laying with each other. And they're, yeah, they're just working together to take you down. They said, we're going to have this 10 of pentacles by all means. By no means shall this person receive what is theirs. We told him, we told them that they are worthless. They don't know what they're doing. We are the actual gifted ones. We're, we're the one that if it takes 10,000 of you to come up against one person, what does that tell you? You ain't the one, Zach. Okay, you ain't the chosen ones, okay? Because chosen people don't get in clicks. It's a it's repulsive for them. If they do get in a click, it's to raise the vibration. And after they're done with their work, it's like, okay, I'll see you later. That's enough of this. <laughs> I can't stand us sometimes. Because <laughs> we like being alone. So it's, it's sad. It's sad. We love being alone. As soon as we're done, we say, okay, I'm... I got to go. What you going to go do? Oh, go relax. I'm going to go chill. I'm going to go meditate or something. You don't got nothing. To, no, I don't got nothing much to do. I might just go sit in my garden, talk to the birds or something, get some, get, get some tan. You know, I know I'm naturally tan, but I might need some more tan. And my kids laugh at me, you all, when I tell them I've been doing that for years. I'll find like somewhere where the sun is shining and I lay under there and I'm like, I'm getting my tan. I'm my, daughter and my son little bumba sticks out eye me my daughter said uh, i think it's a little too late for that i'm like girl let me be my let me live my best life leave me alone okay leave me alone i'm getting a 10 anyways so this family here they're desperate to have something go their way there's a woman or a man in here that wants to be seen as something angelic but a sister is anything but angelic this is over, darling. All the pretending, the lying, the stealing, the manipulation, being conniving, being toxic, but pretending to be people's friends. Girl, no, 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 Again, keep your distance. We don't want no problems. Problems with me. You don't want no problems with us. We're tired of you. We're tired. We're tired, Karen. We're tired. Grow up. You got to grow up. Why don't you want to grow up, Karen? It's the right thing to do. This is what's going to lead to victory for you once you choose to grow up. You'll get that support from the universe that you're desperately wanting. So you won't have to go to practitioners and summon demons to make things go in your favor, Karen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's a woman out here. The narcissism is just a little bit too much. She thinks she's better than everybody. I hope you don't really talk like that. Oh my goodness, that's hot. You remember Paris Hilton? That's what she used to say. That's hot. I, I was four, four, 13, 14, and I still used to get on my nerves and say, if she says that's hot one more time, I'm going to reach through this TV and grab her by her goddamn throat. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Someone walks around with a little bit too much of an ego. Don't got nothing going on upstairs. 
A whole lot going on downstairs. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Back, mm-hmm. back, back, back to the reading. Back to the reading. Okay. Yeah, a sister be turning to rituals, lies, deceit, going to practitioners and everything. A sister does her rituals faithfully. Sister's out here with love options. Someone wanted to be committed to her, but she likes to have options. You're going to have to move on. Sister says she likes to have options. She don't want to be exclusive. Someone got with her thinking that she was exclusive. Uh, apparently she and he said, oh, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbyes, goodbyes, such with sorrows, whatever the heck they say in Shakespeare's. I'm not Shakespeare's kind of, I'm not into Shakespeare's like that. But if Shakespeare was here, he'd be thinking of a way to dismantle that little brat just verbally, though. He'll say something real articulate when he's done talking to you. He'll say, oh, okay, I think I made a mistake. I'm going to go back home now. I'm going to go mind my business. I'm going to go mind my business. Okay, Shakespeare, don't do me like that again. <laughs> Shakespeare said, I'm illuminating the truth about you. We're going to need you to be a little bit more practical. Think before you act, Elizabeth. Think before you act, Karen. Stop trying to steal from what... Stop trying to take what belongs to other people. I don't care what it is. Business? Money? Properties? Lovers? Stop trying to steal what belongs to other people. You don't know what people go through to get what it is they are being given by the universe. Some of us have been through hell back, hell back. In, like at this point, the devil knows us by name. When we step down there, he said, God damn, you're back again. I said, yeah, I'm back again. Apparently, there's a karma I have to learn. So here I'm is what you got to teach me. And then I learned that karma and come back upstairs. And before I know it, two seconds later, I'm back downstairs again. It said, you're back again. Yeah, my mouth got me in trouble. So, you know, he sent me down here. She sent me down here to come learn my lesson. He said, you keep coming down here like you're going to be staying. They know you don't belong down here. I said, I know. But they want me to learn something. You obviously got something to teach me. So here I'm is. Uh, go ahead and teach me so I can go back to where I belong. Because <laughs> I can't do all this here. It's too dry. It's too dry down here, devil. It's too dry. <laughs> the food ain't real. The money ain't real. Nothing real. It's all an illusion. So I can't do. He said, see, that's why. That's why I don't like when you come down here because you just be seeing too much. I, I need people like them. You know, the ones that believe in all the illusions I'm showing them. I can't do nothing with you. Because you, 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 you're like that child when you're young. Your mom has to keep reminding you to stay in a child's place because you just know a little bit too much. I said, sure. You know this ain't my first rodeo. Nah, I ain't taking that billion dollars. Leave me be. <laughs> yeah. Laura, my little mind just be traveling. Girl, the devil don't want nothing to do with me. He said, ah. Every time I go open that, that portal to hell, I say, hey there, I'm coming in. They say, I got something to learn. Uh uh, no, 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 no. You can't come down here. <laughs> you may have people falling in love, getting in touch with their emotions and things. I don't need any of that in here. You need to go. Stay over there. Tell God to figure out another way for you to learn your lessons. <laughs> and then I turn to God. I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, he figured out the plan. Yeah, he knows that you're sending me down there to go help you. <laughs> Yeah, he knows the plan. Remember, he's the first one you created, so he knows a lot more than the rest of us. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to come up with a different plan <laughs> on how we can get more people out of that situation. <laughs> there go guys. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. i let you know. <laughs> yeah. When I'm done t- thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. Whoo. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Your enemies are trying to figure out how they can destroy you, stop you from having a new beginning. It's that shit. She always get her way. He always get his way. Why can't things just go the way we want it? 
We said we don't want her to have a goddamn thing. We don't want him to have a goddamn thing. What the heck is going on here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the uh, beautiful queen of wands, king of wands comes in and says, yeah, this ain't what you think it was. This is a battleground. I am going to fight for what is mine. It's okay. And I am going to receive and receive. Okay. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be open unto you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And sometimes you don't even be knowing what's coming towards you when it comes to blessings. Sometimes the lessons too, but let's focus on the blessings. Somebody don't know that someone has chosen them as their love option. Like someone wants to spend the rest of their life with you. So you don't even know what's coming towards you. Also, you may want to be ready because you know this life here that we are living is a two-edged sword. Why someone is plotting to come towards you to give you a love offer, your enemies are plotting on how they can dismantle you. Ah, baby. Mm. What they really need to be plotting is how they can stabilize something because they're losing quite a lot. They need to figure out how they can balance something out and lessen the load when it comes to the amount that they've lost. You got people out here in the five of pentacles, energies and things like that. You lost a lot. They're living in fear and anxiety. Don't know what the role is that lies ahead, but it's just more truth that's going to be coming out. More truth. Uh, Empress energy is about to be out in the public. Head of an institution, possibly. Very beautiful. Wish fulfillment. And we ain't talking about the karmic one. Don't be over there pretending like, yeah, I told you guys I was going to be successful. I was going to defeat him. I was going to defeat her. No, we ain't talking about you, darling. We ain't talking about you. No, 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 no. We ain't talking about you. You are the queen of wands, empress energy in the reverse. See, this is your energy. This is why it's coming to an end. And this person is going to go give. I'm telling you, he's leaving. He don't already made a decision to leave. And this is causing you and your peoples, you and your peeps, that. Karen said, I'm only dealing with these peasants because I need them to help me destroy this person. Ugh, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even be around them. Ugh, they repulsed me. Oh, Karen. I think I just said sports. Yeah, this this be Karen's vibe. Karen said she's too good to be around the low lives. She said, I'm just working with them until I can get what is mine. It ain't yours. You ain't getting it. I'm just working with them until this is over and I'm victorious and I defeat that fake high priestess. Uh, Karen, you're bullshitting us. It ain't happening that way, darling. This person of high honor will be getting married. Baby, they will be connecting with people, networking, being successful in life. Now, remember, I initially used this to represent you, but it was for a negative reason. You know why? Because sometimes these kind of people here, they be out here with no money, having to balance their checkbooks like myself here with that full dollars you all know that I have in my bank account. Baby, it'll never go up. I work, work, work. It still say four. Every time I look in the bank, I said, shoot, this is some type of voodoo going on. Like, at least go to like $4.25 or something. No, that sucker said $4 every time. I just be looking. And then I got the Cormix out here trying to just strip me of everything. They be out here just making charges on my bank account. Just ordering stuff that I can't get, I cannot use, never see. So I have to call back and say, hey, excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, <laughs> I'm broke as heck and I need my money back. <laughs> Can you please refund me? I didn't authorize that payment. I've had to change my debit cards, replace my debit cards four times within the past, what, two months? Because people just keep, somehow they keep getting it and I don't go out nowhere. So I know it's someone close. I know. They just be monitoring everything and say, uh-huh. Their phone, her Apple ID says this is her debit card. So we can use that and yeah, charge things on there. Anyways, Karen, yeah, that's why I used this to describe you earlier because sometimes these kind of women are pretending to be wealthy, but they're not really wealthy. They're having the balance. You see how on one side she has what six pentacles, and then on the other side she has three pentacles. Sometimes she gotta have the balance, manage what it is she has behind the scenes, 
But when she comes out into the real world, she pretends to be wealthy. There's a difference between the one that is not wealthy but is humble and takes care of herself. You know, she's very responsible, diplomatic, very down to earth. Okay, charming woman. And then there's the you. The one that just be out here pretending to have money. You don't got no money like myself here. You remember, I got $4. Four, I got $4 and four minutes. <gasps> Ooh. But I know my future is abundant though, Karen. I know my is abundant. So that's okay. We're going to keep seeing that $4 in there every day. I'm very protective for that $4. Every time I see it, I say, there goes my, there goes my baby. Ooh. There goes my destiny and the one for me. I call my baby. And I'll be like, listen, you can't be my, this four here, four. Number of protection. Thank you, ancestors, for protection. But I need a little bit more than $4 in my bank accounts, okay? Yeah, I need you all to manifest in the physical what's in the spirit okay anyways let's get back to this reading there's there's enough commercials that's enough commercials you, you got the family out here going through loss that they want to come in gifts like you so that you can give up something that you are never gonna mother have and give up <laughs> Oh, they don't want you being seen, heard, thought of. They say, we said they were dumb. We said they were unskilled, uneducated. So that's how we're going to keep it. We're going to take action to make sure they're not seen. That's what they're doing. The whole family, the whole organization is working together to make sure someone is not seen. They want you stuck on the inside. They say, you know what? Make sure they don't go anywhere too far. They can go up the block, down the block, side by side block. But anything outside of that, we need to catch them. Call the police and say that you see someone causing disturbance in a neighborhood that they should not be in. These people are crazy out here. Okay? It's the whole Queen of Wands reverse behind the scenes is doing this. Queen of Cups reverse. Queen of Swords. They are reverse. I'm telling you. Oh... <laughs> why are you so obsessed with us and that's what we want to know lying that you work with us you know it's a scam hey you delusional you know you confused you know and and and, and, and. why are these people out here bother with the fact that you are still committed to your work it said listen we don't temper with their work their image with into lies and everything. And they're still out here balanced, still focusing on their pentacle. Why is she? Why is he still focused on his pentacles? Why is he still committed? Maybe because somebody got an agreement with the most high. And that's why they're going to be successfully closing this chapter out, darling. Taking charge of their life, moving on and balancing this sucker out. Whatever belongs to who you're trying to take it from, it's being well kept. You don't understand what I mean when I say that, but you're going to find out what I mean. Even if something has been given to you that belongs to someone else, it's still being protected by the most high. You don't get what I mean by that, do you? You'll find out. We're going to leave that for you to find out later. Okay? That's for us to know and for you to find out, Karen. But there are people out here that are just burdened and worried that the queen of pentacles Energy keeps going on. It's like they're trying to harm you, trying to disturb your peace. Don't want you waking up. Don't want you having any good night's sleep or nothing. Because you know we be needing our good night's sleep so we can come out here looking abushi, awiwi, okay? Looking all good, beautiful, and just uh, j j just captivating. You know, when you see a light worker, you just know there's something about them. You say, mm, there's something about that one right there. Yeah, we need our beauty sleep so we can come out here looking at bougie. May we? Okay. Okay. So we can have the men of Paris speaking to us and say, oh, tout à fait, come on. I say, hi, je m'appelle Cynthia. Et toi? Ah, chai. <laughs> Gotta add some entertainment. Anyways, the, the, the folks, the church, the church. The church folks are bothered, honey, that you all are still committed to your work. 
You're focusing on your pentacles and your families, taking care of your business like you're supposed to because you know on this channel, minding your business is as easy as A, B, C, Do, Re, Mi. Anybody can do it. It's two plus two. We all know what that is, but these are some two plus two not knowing what the F it is. BGC that don't know how to mind their business. But we know, so we do that. We do that. Anyways, listen, karmics, whatever it is you all have been doing, you're trapped. That work you've been doing, that commitment, you're trapped in there. You're going to have to move on. The rest of us want to move on with our lives. I know you don't want people seeing us. You want people to think we're disloyal. You want people to think that we're not intellectual, that our IQs are buffering at the bottom of the scale, girl. You lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because the universe is always pouring into us, okay? Because we're fabulous. We do the work. We do the work, Okay? Anyways, it's a lot of remorse. It's the, uh, why is she still going? Why is he still going? What are they committed to? We destroy everything. Why are they still going? Why are they still committed? Why are they still solid? That's because you're confused, you know. You're deluged, you know. You think because you, cause you spoke into existence that someone is lazy, then that means that they're lazy. Or that they're they're dumb, then that means that they're girl. You don't got no authority to speak over somebody's life, or sir, you don't got no authority to speak over somebody's life. Now I know a lot of you have been out here pretending to be what you are not. Now that the real deals are showing up and taking their places in spiritual courts, it's a problem. Is it? No, that's not how you do it. It's a woman out here that used to correct terror readers that she'll watch people's terror readings and then be there like no that's not true that's not what it means the whole time she don't even know what it means girl i sit down have several seats <laughs> sit down have several seats i see it have several seats i see it have several seats and along the way while you are i see it in theme la bouche anyways baby I'm so proud of you all for keeping for, 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 for keeping on and keeping on, staying committed to what it is that you agree to with the most high. People are stuck in some type of karmic contract. Well, that's their business. They don't got nothing to do with us. We don't speak their language. The devil don't even fool with us. The devil don't fool with me. I know that because, honey, the devil said, listen, I'm going to need you to stay over there. Like, you can't be coming over here because every time you come over here, people are falling in love. People want to heal. I don't got time for all that healing stuff. My kingdom is not going to thrive for someone like you around. Whatever you do is beautiful for your side. But my side, no, that's detrimental. That's catastrophic. That's like a tornado just to crush through my kingdom. So the devil don't really like to fool with us. It's a Jizzy Bell unhinged creature that's out here messing with people. But sister's about to be humble, humble, because this cycle is over, over. Girl, you ain't getting that offer, I told you. <laughs> you want me to show you again? You want me to show you again? I uh, split the deck. It said, illusion. It's an illusion that you think this person is going to be staying with you. So you stole a relationship. Is that what you had did? And then you try to trap a masculine with a baby. Is that what you had done? Hmm. You got to be a part of yourself. Jessica Bell. You got to be appalled. You don't be compromised.